Welcome back to 2020 Tech, and today I got a mini keyboard by Rai. R double I I, kind of like the Wii kind of I. Would you pronounce that Rai or Rai I I? Rawhide. Anyways, this is a wireless keyboard that obviously hooks up to your TV, Xbox, PlayStation, mobile phones, Android TV boxes, and basically it's kind of supposed to replace your remote but like when you're looking for like movies and you got to type with the key with the uh, remote control it, it gets pretty brutal trying to spell out like long words when you're looking for a movie and this replaces that pretty sure you guys already know this it seems that this one is probably the better one on the market they say it's the the most mini in size and it also has a mouse pad track combo. So basically, world's most mini wireless keyboard mouse combo, specific multimedia remote control and touchpad function, handheld keyboard with touch DPI adjustable functions better match the different sizes of screen. It's good for a PC, good for all types of things. So the little mouse is a trackpad. I, I just wanna try it out. What I think this is good for is households that have a few TVs and small children. I have several children, and one thing I've noticed through the years is they love to open the back of the remotes, take the batteries out, and that could be dangerous, especially the smaller the child, they could put it in their mouth, the, the acid's just not good for their stomach, you know, bad things could happen. So what I think this is a good option, so you don't have to worry about those types of things. And I picked this one up from Micro Center. I believe it was less than $15. So they're cheap enough. If you're ever at Micro Center and you're picking up some other things, you might want to consider the little mini keyboard, especially if you have small children or you have a few devices around your house. Now for PlayStation, they have the keyboards. So they connect right to your controller. It's kind of a nuisance on the controller where this could just sit on your lap. And if you're going to type, say you don't have a mic, this would come in handy. So let's open this up and let's see exactly what comes inside. All right, so no white glove surface here, people. It's not how we do it. Not in the house with kids. Those people who have those box videos, those unboxing videos with white gloves, they don't have children. It comes in a white box on top of the box. So this is the box, this is the product, if you're interested in it. And we're gonna try hooking it up to our TCL, Roku. I know a lot of you have asked me to do a review on that TV and the PlayStation. So I will be doing one of those also. So this is wrapped in a plastic on top of the box of the box. Not too hard to open. Let's see what it comes with. Well, it comes with the keyboard. It comes with a USB charger. And this is pretty cool because you don't need batteries. And this is the point of not needing the batteries because the remote controls have batteries. Kids open it, get to the batteries, or you're constantly trying to get batteries for your remotes. So hopefully this is like a one-stop fix-all. Uh, my favorite seasoning in a bag, use it on everything. And like probably a quick start guide. So yeah, so it's an installation and user manual. And this is the black one. I believe they came in white and black. And to tell you the truth, this one's pretty sleek. What do you think, Sabrina? Pretty cool, right? Put yourself a little Velcro strap on the back. Put the other Velcro somewhere easy in reach. It's got no weight to it at all. All right, so I gave you guys some quick uh, close-up shots 
of the instructions. Feel free to pause at any moment during those in case you may have lost your instructions. That way you could troubleshoot any problems you may have if you do have this keyboard. Now, I thought it hooks up to multiple. I thought it was a Bluetooth device, so I do apologize. It works with this, the dongle. So you take the dongle out like that, and this right here, the dongle, you plug this into whatever device you're planning to use your keyboard on. Now, controllers come with this, other items come with this also. You plug this in and your keyboard should work. Now, I was reading a little bit of the instructions because I've never hooked one up before. I had one for a fire, like a fire stick type thing, and it was pretty cool how it worked. I got it for a buddy of mine who wasn't too internet PC literate, so I hooked it up for him and he, he got around the internet watching movies pretty easily. But the thing I like, it's got the win button, so it has a way of like even doing control alt delete, which is in those pages. But I just wanted to check it out and see, do we need one of these in 2020 or not? I mean, so basically the way I see it, Let's say you have your PC in your bedroom and it's connected to your monitor and you have another cord going to your television. Then I could see something like this as being helpful or useful because you could have this plugged into your computer and when you switch displays to your television from your PC, you could use this on your television while you're lying in bed instead of bringing your wireless keyboard or if you don't have a wireless keyboard. And at 13, 14 bucks, even 15, I don't see it as a bad deal. I'm gonna test it on the TCL Roku, right? Is that this one? Yeah, the TCL Roku. I mean, the only thing I could see on a smart TV it's good for is when you're looking for movies or you're typing into your smart TV and you don't have to constantly click with the button of the, the controller, you know, arrow okay, arrow okay. YouTube on your television, you know, you're clicking the arrow to the letter, okay, arrow to the, okay. Where with this, you could just, but there's apps on your phone that you could download. I have the app for the TCL Roku that has the same exact picture of my remote for this TV right here. Once you have the app, you can just press the button of a picture of a keyboard that's on your phone and you could type straight into it right on your phone. But like I said, Velcro strap, it's sitting there, it's used as a mouse. So I would think it would be better if your PC is connected to your television and you're laying in bed and you wanna use your, your television as the monitor, but you don't wanna bring the big wireless keyboard and you just wanna use this. The keys are, you know, the keys are pretty big. You know, I, I have a, you know, average size hands, I guess, and I have no problems with pressing them. I like the mouse and the tracker, the little ball, it seems pretty cool. The buttons are satisfying. You know, they have a satisfying little click to them and there's a mic. Let's see if there's any charge on this thing. Let's find our USB. So up here you have your power buttons and this is where you would charge it from. Here, I'll show you a little closer. This is where your power button is and your USB. So let's turn it on. As you can see, I got a blue light right here and that means battery's full from what I read on the instructions. Oh, the yellow light's flashing when I do this. I was hoping it was plug and play, and it might be with some other things, but I'm seeing with a smart TV if it is. So let's try a couple other so, things. So, it said if my light, if the blue light is always on, that basically this is fully charged. Then it says if it's not paired to try this. So, let's try some troubleshooting while I'm here. And it says, make sure the keyboard can turn on normally. The blue light is always on, which means that the battery is fully charged. If the blue light is flashing or not, please charge the keyboard. So we're not flashing. Step two, keep your PC or Android power on when the keyboard is turned off. Press and hold the F1 key, and then turn on the keyboard switch. The yellow light will flash quickly. At that time, insert the receiver into the computer or Android box. If yellow light out, the pairing is successful. All right, so basically what I want us to do is to take this out from what I gather. Now it's flashing, let's turn it off. Hold in the F1 key. What I'm believing is that this is like a reset, like a manual reset. Turn it on, it should flash a few times, let's see. All right, we got a couple flashes. So I guess it's waiting on me. Plugged it in, turned off. And see, that didn't work. Yellow light's out, so successful pairing. 
So it says. So it says it doesn't work with all TVs, not all smart TVs. It can work on Amazon Fire TV as follows. Use an app called app to fire on Android. You can send any app to Fire TV, then run it. So for example, Google Chrome, I'm reading it word for word, by the way. The keyboard works as mouse and keyboard. Just note that it only works on side loaded applications. For example, Google Chrome, Firefox, Showbox, Kodai is a native app on Fire 2. Not suitable for all smart TV. Some smart TV do not support external input device. Before you place the order, please use a wired keyboard to check if it can work. So it wants you to plug a wired keyboard into your USB of your TV and see if it'll work. Because that's basically what this is. It's a keyboard. It has some other cool features, but basically what it is, is a keyboard. I'm gonna go stick with my original assessment. It's probably good for a PC when you have it plugged into your TV screen. You could get this, plug the dongle straight into your PC, and this is another keyboard that you could just keep Velcroed next to your bed. So at night, you could just have your PC on your screen in your bedroom, and you're not having to have the big keyboard shuffling it around, forgetting it in the bedroom when you wake up to get to your PC or vice versa. Now it does work with a few other items that I read off. I will gladly have all that on here. Hopefully I already showed it. Please feel free to pause it at any time to see that. Also, there will be timestamps in the bottom. And basically that's it for this little keyboard. I picked it up basically just to see what it would do if it would work on this TV or not. I, I really don't care. It was only 15 bucks. You know what I mean? I'm hooking up to my PC. My PC is in my bedroom and I have a cord that I could run from my PC straight to my television. And at night, I could just use this instead of my keyboard. So that's pretty cool. And that's the best appeal to me. If you have a Amazon Fire Stick or something like that, then maybe this would be good for you too also. If you have any other questions or something about this little keyboard, comment down below. Maybe I might have some more answers for you by then. Maybe by then I've been using it a little bit longer by the time this video actually goes up. Hey, come here. He wanted his nuggets. So that's pretty much all we got to say about this little keyboard. If you have your computer, like I said, plug straight into your, uh, your television screen in your bedroom. This would be a good option not to lug around another keyboard. So if you're laying in your bed, you have this plugged into your PC, it's cool. That's pretty much all I could see for it. What do you think, Aiden? No? I <laughs> Why, because there's no real batteries in it? So we got our chicken nuggets. And uh, how do you feel about nuggets? He's reviewing nuggets on his channel. It's uh, Aiden McNugget, if you guys would like to check it out. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We always appreciate you returning. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting and liking on the videos. Aiden, would you like to say goodbye to everybody? Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Thanks again for watching, y'all. We'll see you guys next time. Late. <laughs> what do you got there?